we have a big problem. Their teacher, Mrs. Telma, just had a baby. And since she has to take care of her baby, she won't be able to teach at Critter Elementary for a while. Boy, these kids are sure rowdy today. Today is the first day with the substitute. What if she's a mean teacher? Yeah, what if she gives us lots of homework? Okay, students. For homework, you have to do three pages of math, two pages of social studies, four pages of science, and three pages of language arts. And it's due tomorrow. Or what if she gives us noogies? This work is unacceptable, atrocious, appalling! What if she cancels recess forever? Recess is a waste of time. As long as I'm the teacher, there will be no such thing here. I won't tolerate any lazy students in my class. What if I need to go pee and she doesn't let me go to the restroom? Teacher, can I go to the restroom? Most definitely not! You should have come to in recess. But we didn't have recess. I was scared of the substitute. Okay, critters, we're here. What the little critters didn't know was that the new teacher was also worried about how the school day would go. What if the students are rowdy and they don't listen to me? Students, students, please calm down. I know what. I am very good at telling bedtime stories. If they get too wild, we'll have story time, and I will tell them one of my best bedtime stories. That should make them take a nap. But when the students came in, the teacher was in for a nice surprise. The students were all well behaved. The students were also very happy to see the teacher wasn't mean at all. In fact, she was nice. During the day, they learned a lot. In science class, they learned about the solar system, the planets, and the stars. At recess, they had so much fun running around, jumping, and playing hide-and-seek. For art, they made fun sculptures with clay. For music class, they learned a funny song. And, and the, the bird, bird and the egg, egg and the egg in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows around and around and the green grass grows around. At the end of the day, the teacher had a great idea. They went to the library and the teacher let them sit at the top of the tree to hear a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess, but a very evil dragon had cast a spell on her. And they lived happily ever after. Very well, students. It's time to go home. See you tomorrow. Yay, yay, yay! Huh? Anita? Anita, dear, wake up. It's time to go home. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. I fell asleep. I must have been very tired. Oh, don't worry about it. But hurry. I don't want you to miss the school bus. See you later. Okay, bye, teacher. Hee hee hee. I think I'm definitely good at telling bedtime stories. Hee hee.